o lado me puxa. It's on, I think it's on already. É, move, move. Uh -huh. You have to look the other way. A ver? Uh -huh. Now you turn it around. Here, just, just turn it around like this. Uh -huh. You look through here. Okay, all right. Entonces push where? It's already on. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. A beautiful day, eh? For a picture. Okay. Now, can I tell you what I was going to ask you about? Okay. Where me push? It's already rolling. Uh -huh. I was going to ask you how the events of September 11th have changed your life. Uh huh. Qué beautiful. You stay here. And and how how they've changed the way you see the world. Eleven. Para mí cuando yo vi eso, yo dije qué gente tan perversa y asesina. Buscaron los edificios más altos para destruirlos. Esos edificios cuestan millones. Los que lo hicieron sudaron para hacer esos edificios. No es una obra de, de arte, sino de fuerza del americano. Sí. Y hay que ver el alma del, del neoyorquino como estará de peso de un grado. Apenado. 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 Enfermo del corazón ver su ciudad destruida que la han bombardeado. No hay amor. On September 11th, I was here in San Diego for work, but I live in New York. Being in California, I felt very far from home. It was a shock, but uh, it didn't bother me that much because, you know, it's pretty far from where we are. Everybody's anxious to, to take away from what we have, it seems. We got so much, and they don't have enough. I gotta get down. Two months after 9-11, my freelance job here ended, and finally I could go home. Only then did I realize I didn't want to. I was afraid to fly, but more importantly, I was afraid to face New York, so I decided to drive home. I needed to take my time, and I also wanted to talk to people as I traveled across America. My apartment in New York had a perfect view of the World Trade Center, and had I been home, I would have seen the towers collapse. My next door neighbor shot this footage on 9-11. You can see St. Vincent's Hospital below where doctors waited for survivors who never came. Being away from New York seemed to compound the sense of loss, like missing a funeral and never having the chance to properly mourn. While in San Diego, I kept thinking of that dreaded view from my window. I didn't know how I would come to terms with what had happened. In mid-November, I started my trip home.